But um, this is TSTL Season 6, Round of... S I'm not sure if this is 32 or 64. I think this is 32. Uh, sorry. Round of something. <laughs> Round of something, these, yes. <laughs> these are two meta boxes with... Um, do you have to introduce everybody? Guess what? Hi, I'm Wooper. Oh, yeah. Uh, Hi, Wooper. Two boxes. <laughs> we've got two boxes. We have um, Neo Force in them. That's the thing that jumps out to me. Uh, Concede or Hazuchi or whoever has a very balanced box. Um, he's got Rain uh, as a strong endgame win con. He's got a couple of the good debuffers. No, um, no Kimiko. And of course, he does have uh, Lucretia, Cherry, and Kaira, who I've termed the uh, pick your bullshit. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, I'm surprised because so, China was running Himiko for a really long time, and it seems like Global has trended away from that a lot. She's still really good, but I think people are learning to play around her more, and people really like Lucretia with Black Hole and stuff, which is a problem. I, I guess her well, problem um, is she's not flexible enough. Yeah, she is a one-trick pony, and people don't run Landy as much, so it's kind of hard to get her a buff. And people also don't like to ban Hilda as much these days either, and Himiko does not exactly like fighting Hilda. It's it's an okay matchup mm. for her. So, um, Concede has a uh, Holy Tejas, so that's probably Gift of Eternal Life. More than likely. Holy yes, Lucretia as and... well. Yes, but Holy Lucretia could well be Genius Stick anyway. Eclipse, however, has Liana. So he has three healers plus Dog plus, I guess, Lucretia, maybe, plus yeah. Kyura. Yeah, a lot of people have been dropping Liana these days as well in favor of more offensive, sub healer based picks. Unfortunately, Oldius is going to be pretty dead for Eclipse. So Helena. I guess we'll see how. I guess Helena's there, but Helena's good against Aldeus. In, in, oh, I guess Ares is there, but if Ares is picked against this sort of box, then there's a good chance he's just going to be a faction. Yeah, so yeah, let's see. Yep, very standard first ban. Playing and debuff. Frozen Seal, yep. Frozen Seal's banned on both sides, makes sense. So, Aldeus' first pick is remarkable. I'm... Uh... A little confused. Oh. It's got some myth. Is, is he securing the new for Neo Force buff? A Neo Force is not that high of a carry pick. He's somebody that you're like, are hoping your opponent is going to underestimate generally, and you get him late, like fourth or fifth. He actually has a fair amount of myth. He has Kruger, he has Rain. They both have Rain, actually. Uh, and of course, Dog and Neo Force. Yeah. Whereas uh, Hazuchi's done the very standard first pick of either one of the three bullshit sisters <laughs> and his preferred one is just Kyura. It's good against this box because it's a lot of AoE. Kyura is a solid mm -hmm. AoE answer. And uh, if it's a good enough Kyura, it's Assassin Kyura, so that tells me either 5 star or he's just got a believer in 6 star Meteor Lee. <laughs> that should kill most of the stuff in Eclipse's box unless he has an extremely tanky Bozal on extremely tanky ring. And Neo Force has a revive. Yeah. And Lucretia as well, yeah. Lucretia can die if it's Twilight Star and he doesn't have uh glory. Well she has the revive. Hmm. My bad. Okay, so just immediate, second pick Lucretia, just going straight I mean, for the I mean, AoE damage. Two of the three bullshit sisters. <laughs> Cherry has been banned. But Helena is still there against a pseudo no tank. Hilda's still a choice though. Yeah, uh, I've double bans tanks, but Hilda could get picked. And this is a pretty good tank push comp, honestly. I think so. But Helena Rain gets banned. Is big... Rain is a big problem that he wants to go tank push for. So yeah, he just picks Rain. And Hazuchio or Concede has the much better Rain team simply because of, um, of Florentia. Yeah. Basically, Hazuchio has just been steadily banning out all the single target, and he might have had to pick Hilda there if there was more single target in this box, but there wasn't, so it's pretty safe unless, like, Clotaire runs Pyromancy. I think that Clotaire's uh, existence in the box has meant uh, Concede doesn't want to pick a tank. You know... He has a lot more freedom. 
You know Clotaire can kill Rain. I believe it. Uh, yeah, I, I would believe it, but yeah. he's also like pseudo stubby legs. And once he's blown his load, he literally does nothing else. Well, I mean, if you bring Pyromancy, which is what you should bring if you're trying to kill Rain, then it comes up pretty fast. But yeah, he has um, only 7 range. Sure. <laughs> Who's the pick here? Probably not Hilda. If he was going to pick Hilda, he would have done it before, right? So he's going to end up with um, Neo Force. Yeah, and uh, I see no way Eclipser is picking Hilda. So yeah. Yeah, Hilda's not great against this particular comp. And this is, yeah, just, there's no reason to pick Hilda here. Because even if Clotaire runs single target, it's a one-for-one -one trade, and then there's a good chance Suzuchio's DPS just wins anyway. Yes. Just this Kira. Pegasus Neo Force, is that normal? It's a little normal. He either runs that or Griffins. Um, I see. I guess since there's limited healing on both sides, that's the rationale there. Some troops being alive is better than none. He's slightly tankier than Griffins, I guess. Clotaire did not bring Pyromancer, so... <laughs> I don't think we were expecting him to bring Pyromancer. I was! <laughs> okay, okay then. Everything else is I mean, standard. I 3C is still a, still a big damage swing, right? It's like 1.7 or something? Yeah, I actually... You know, let's look. I'm gonna scroll all the way down. It's physical. It's 1.8, 1. and it dispels 5 buffs, which is relevant. So it's it's just pseudo sword soul. Yeah. Well, I mean, it has a higher mod, I think. Is there anything? Uh, no, sword soul is also one point. Oh, okay. But yeah, you, uh, uh, this Neo Force brought Starfall, which is not exactly the best skill. Starfall is like the random meteors one, right? Yes. Okay. And it can only hit somebody cool. twice. The thing is, his damage is decent, but decent usually is uh. You're being very generous there. I'm not, because the fixed damage adds a lot. He has 15% AoE damage dealt. His int does kind of suck, but the fixed damage will proc twice. So it, 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 His damage is decent. It's not to like... To be fair, Eclipse's whole team is like uh, fixed damage, death by a thousand cuts tribal, right? He's got Rain, he's got Clotaire, and I guess he has Neo Force too. Yeah, yeah. The group is just spreading his cancer all over. Well, they both brought uh, well, Starfall. We'll they did both bring Starfall. Maybe it's something about Starfall that one of us is missing. Um, I know nothing about Neo Force, so I, I can't tell you very much. I do know several people that play Neo Force, and generally they would recommend Black Hole. Black Hole's a good spell. Yeah. It's just, it, the more, you, especially against this healerless comp, right? Like, some more chances of debuff seems like it's going to be more useful than potentially getting Starfall kills. I think Concede has to make the big plays here. Um, don't you mean Eclipser? Yeah, sorry, sorry. The yeah. person who has all of the... Yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm, yeah. My head hurts. You're good. Um, it's it's, it's, a, um, it's yeah. because of this Kiura, mainly. Like, that's just yeah, such Ky a... Kiura's... She's a bitch to deal with. That's, that is what she does. You bitch. Yep, so Evo or really on Flurry Shot? Usually putting it on healers makes enough sense. But um Flurry is the healer that can be really far away from the Yeah, team. yeah, I was about to say the same thing. I was thinking about how I've done that to a lot of Krugers. I just move my Florentio away. It's no big deal. Oh, I guess um we're just going straight in. Yeet. He sees the Irene AoE. Uh, well, yeah. le le let's list it out <laughs> to be more clear. He's gonna AOE okay. this Neo Force. Uh, no, he can AOE um, Odious. Yeah, he can AOE whoever he wants, honestly. Um, and that He's is actually Odious. That's that's not good for Eclipse. So is Eclipse a Apex boots or is he bracer? He is bracer. He is bracer. Okay. Um, and this is actually Apex boots. Yes, because he's black move. So yeah, the thing about Rain is you on turn one, you really don't want to let him just be able to AoE your entire team. In fact, in general, you do not want to let Rain AoE your entire team. You probably wait out the uh, transform. Yeah, you, you can, but um, he has Olia. Not very. 
Yes. Florentia, oh, but Odie's moved. Um, well, I'm just saying, uh, if you, like, play more conservatively with everybody back, and then you can use Odeus to push Reen back to screw up his follow-up even more, Is, but... Isn't Odeus in Kyura range? Yes. Yeah. Open. Yeah, this is a fat Reen AoE. That is, uh... And there's no yeah, real way to punish that's... this. <laughs> that is an anti-heal and a silence on Kruger, and... Yeah, it's, uh, the PTSD. It's all flooding right back. This is a Season 3 game. Oxide of the Moon. And might as well, like, just... Just Green punch got, him. Um, Green got a mobility debuff. This is like a game yeah. ended in one AoE. Pretty much. And now um he can Meteor or he can Kyura to kill whoever he wants. Pretty Not high. That Clotaire has a good move. High attack on this arena as well. Clotaire silenced. Ha. <laughs> okay, Clotaire literally cannot do anything. <laughs> yeah. So Kyura can move in and I don't know, Luke. Okay, never mind. Yeah. The future is going to black hole and it's gonna be all she wrote. Jesus. So I guess the onus was on Eclipso, but it turns out that Conceit just got to do whatever the hell he wanted. Eclipso just moved in too fast. That's basically the gist of it, but his team was just outranged so hard. Yes. Like he like you like you mentioned, Florentia can put Breeze on Kiura, she can put Breeze on Rain. You can you can't really hide as Eclipser even if you tried. The only way is to engage first. So Protea does get to hit three or four units with his AoE. But it's too little too late, I think. Especially because no well Neo Force is a unit. <laughs> fatal Arc Smash, nice. It was fatal. It was fatal. Um, the whole epic side must have been like. And the Reen dies to Reen fix damage. So the game is not over, but it's kind of over. Well, Ayura is still alive? Uh, yeah, she is. Yeah, I, I don't. There's no way. Yeah, especially because Conceit's going to have priority as well. Starfall, kill the. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I, I, well then. I Starfall did a lot of work there. But it's not going to be enough, unfortunately. Are you a... No, that, that was a yeah. Conceded star, Starfall. Oh, okay. I understand well, I it's confusing. Like, presumably he has a six star... Six star... Near Force, right? Yeah, um, Eclipser didn't. I'm not sure about Conceded, but I'm going to... Bet that it is. It's a, it's a whale account. I, yeah. That's that's gotta be. It's is six, that six star. It, it is six star. Oh, and that that's that's game. Yeah. So uh, Clipser well, just so. played a bit too aggressively, but even I suppose don't think it, he had a choice. Or rather, yeah. like if he stays back, he's eventually just going to get Kyura to death. He has to he has to try and engage and make something happen off of that. But then you have Reen, who's not really the best character for that. I am not convinced removing Lucretia's rights, unless that's like a three-star bad bait Lucretia. Even if it is, she's going to get banned. So, you put in Bozal and Leon Hart. Interesting. Leon Hart with... Wait. There's no there's no Bernhardt in this box, so his only faction buffs are like Frozen Seal and Dot. Yeah, because Lucretia got removed too. Um, you can use t -Jess. You've got Gospel. Gospel on Kyura and um, Liana. t Strengthen. Um, and Florentia has Mass Attack. And Leonhardt against this box and in this meta, it's just, there's too much stuff that can take care of him. What is Leonhardt doing in this game? Teleporting in and dying? I feel like Leonhardt is a unit that's about to be really good. 3C, but yeah. But here, I think it's a... I mean, you are playing against Concede, so, you know, nerves, but I'm not entirely sure um, what's doing. Kilda was removed from Concede's side to bring in more cancer. I can yeah. see a first pick, Akka or Florentia, even, to be honest, but I think it'll be Lucretia again. 
not she's not banned. It just seems like Concede's box has so much mobility advantage over Eclipsers that it's going to be hard for him to ever do anything. It's actually not that much. It's just Florentia and Arca and I guess TJS. Um, I guess so, yeah. Maybe it just comes down to band pick. Pretty much. It's only um, Arca who's the difference. Frozen Seal's the first band as usual. Odious. I don't know about that. Well, he has now got Bozo to buff. There is, there is one other point, and that is that Concede's units in general have more range than Eclipser's units, right? That's true. Like, um, like a lot. Got, yeah. Helena, Sherry. Oh, well, there's a Helena, but Sherry, um, Kiara. Oh, there. Uh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. I think the, there's a critical mass being reached, which is the issue with um, Eclipser. Eclipso's band pick. I don't know what Oldie's first pick does. That's, yeah. That's the issue. It, it just it seems like the band Cherry picks the problem. And Cherry and Aries, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. Lucretia, um, being left up this late is not a good sign. I can understand that he's afraid of the mobility from Akaya. That, that, that's actually a problem, I think. Banning Akaya there is... It, you Concede already has Florence he's already here. Got, he's already got mobility. That's yeah. The problem. Yeah. Um, so if you wanted to really limit it, then I don't. I don't think you could have done that. The first pick, Florentia was. I think I mentioned it earlier. Somewhat predictable, because yeah. once you secure the mobility advantage, uh, that's what wins the debuff war. You dictate the engagement, and then from there, we saw what happened last game. And like, I understand the sentiment of wanting a faction buff for your debuffers. But first pick Odious is... It's not a waste of a first pick, because it makes Helena and Cherry much worse. But if you're going to up and ban Cherry anyway, then... I don't know. Yeah... It's... So, even even if um, Odious wasn't the first pick, you just pick Neoforce here, you've got four Cancer patients. One of them is a... Patients. Um, cancer enablers. Uh, Two of them have good range, one of them gets yeeted across the map, and another one has a revive. It's like... Yeah. I don't know, I think... Kasid's ban pick is a lot more focused. You can immediately tell he's banning out the healers, he's playing AoE. Which, generally, you don't want to be fighting healers when you're playing AoE. Leaving up Juggler Oops. for a while, but that's because... Um, Eclipsers left, left up answers for Kasid to fight Juggler. As far as, um... Eclipser's band pick goes. First pick, first band Rosin makes sense. First band Liko, a bit less so because I mean, Kasid removed the tank push in his box entirely with Hilda. Like he may, he maybe picks Juggler, but he's not trying to play a long drawn out game. And Liko is generally going to be better in that kind of situation, right? Especially since he already first picked Florentia, who can act as a healer if need be. I think that the Liko ban, um, rather than banning, for example, um, Kyura plus uh, Lucretia or Kyura plus Kruger, uh, showed that maybe he was just scared that Seed swapped in Liko. Hard to say. I um I agree with you. I think that the Liko ban was uh, debatable, but I also think that swapping in Bozo and Leon, uh, even though it looks like it's a quote-unquote mistake because he's been left these two at the end. I don't think it actually is. I think that Eclipsa just didn't have very many great options, whereas Concede is a whale account, which has like whatever the whale account wants to play. So I wouldn't begrudge him about. I do think that some of the general ban pick strategy um, is certainly leaning towards a previous season where it might be more of a, a slower game. And I think right now there's too much potential to do nonsense early on to bother with things like Odious to secure a first, um, a faction buff. Yeah, it's... Concede just has a much more focused plan. He secures the mobility advantage, then he secures the first big AoE, and from there his units just trickle in one by one. The AoE from Eclipser is going to be ineffective as a result. Last picks, it probably has to be Leonhart, right? I think it's Bozo. Really? Leonhart does nothing. Yeah. I mean, because Helena... Like, not even a buff for him. 
You just pick Helena. I don't even think you need to pick Helena. I think you just... Yeah, it's, uh, I think you can just pick Near Force and it's still fine. Um, you pick Helena anyway, because Helena is also really broken. Helena's, Helena's good against this comp. There's no tank, uh, and everyone I think will die to Helena, except Neo Force. What's Neo Force got? Is that infantry? Amazon. It is no, it's Amazons. All right, fair enough. Um, so he's brought, yeah, he's brought good troops to deal with Helena, just running in and killing them instantly. But I don't think Helena is going to be what makes or breaks this game. Could have brought Shreds on Oldius. Maybe he doesn't have them raised. Oh, I don't think that's going to matter. I think Oldius dying at an opportune time is one of the swings that Eclipse can have in his back pocket. Yeah, like because last everything... game. It could have gone. Yeah, everything else. Oh, that... no, go on. Um, last game, when Oldius died, it swung things a bit back in Eclipse's favor. And if there just wasn't that devastating turn one engage and it happened at a more opportune time, then it... Oldius purging all the debuffs really can save a team's ass. He's already starting. To, Eclipse is starting to spread out, which is good. He needs to do that because even though Rena big AoE, his actual casting range is not amazing. So you really limit his ability to completely destroy your team in turn one. Kruger could be a problem. He didn't get a breeze, but uh, regardless of that, again, um, Conceit is not obligated to do very much yet. Yeah. What did Le what did Lucretia bring? Sure. Yeah, Mass Attack makes perfect sense. And, um, yes. she also brought Firebrand, specifically if Ares brought Angels. Which he did, so, yeah, good. Everything else is standard. Flipson does have the bulk advantage. Um, that is something that first picking does guarantee him. Yeah. But, um, it's been a while since, uh, we were wowed by... God K playing, um, playing tankless tank push with first pick Oldius. I think we're in a different meta now. If he acts again green, that could be very bad for uh, yeah, Eclipse, though. It's a very aggressive move by Ares. I, I feel that um, Eclipser needs to count more tiles. Oh, look, I don't blame him for that. Counting tiles sucks. I, it, it, it does, but... Getting turn one Reen AoE also really sucks. Very good point. Yeah, this looks... I'm pretty sure this is going to be a repeat. Yeah, this this looks eerily familiar. Kruger is not within AoE way. He is. Um... Yes, Kruger. Neo Force, is, is Kruger it? within AoE range? Yes. Okay. Four blocks. Yes, yes it is. I fought a lot of Vereen. I can just so, see I could just see it. <laughs> you can you can see it. I can see in Vereen AoE range. Alright, he's cracked the helm. Doesn't really do very much, I don't think. Can't can't target him because he yeah. took damage. And yeah, Ares I'm just dies. And uh, I don't think anyone else is particularly threatening. Regardless of that, Helena will Helena could Possibly even kill Neo, Neo Force. He, you can't target him right now, but yeah, this is oh, just... Oh, he's, he's, um, he's in his mystical, spooky yep. state. Mm. Now you and can. That is, that's, that I think is the problem with Starfall. It, it just doesn't like kill. A, it's just an average AoE unless it's hitting twice. Yeah. Strategic regroup, and then... What's he gonna do? Just nothing? Yep, and then mm. he... He's moving to hit both of them, sure. And all this is too far back to actually do anything with his talent, unfortunately. A good example of um, how good Helena is versus Tankless. Yep. Even though Clipsa did the right thing and brought a lot of Lancer troops, uh, Helena was able to target precisely where she needed to. And then the puppet wins and... Conceit, uh, Conceit has a reputation as a very good player for a reason. Yeah, um, I feel that... Better, better luck to Eclipso. Uh, he, he brought out his, uh, his marquee unit uh, to see if he could do anything, but unfortunately, the meta is just not very favorable for Leonhardt. 
give it a couple more weeks and when we get his 3c he will be very much fine yeah i felt that eclipser he needed to in game one it seemed like a pretty clear band pick issue and in game two again it was another band pick issue i said he could count tiles more but again, what it comes down to is that Conceit just has the mobility advantage and a very clear and focused strategy. Uh, there's Even if you hide for a little bit, Conceit's not dumb. He's just going to wait until Reen is in AoE range. Eclipser doesn't have a single target threat to counteract the Reen. I don't, he didn't bring single target Ares. Um, yeah, it's just needed to do some different stuff in band pick. Uh, try to needs a better strategy, I guess. That's the best way I can put it. Yeah, I think the first bit obvious is, uh, he just doesn't do enough right now. Um, so he, I mean, he got out of group stage. He done quite a few things right. Um, and congratulations to Conceive move to the next round. So, uh, better luck in the next, uh, tournament to Eclipse. Yeah. 